So normally when I do star lapses, I use this as the DJI Action, this is the original camera. This thing is really bulletproof. I just have my settings on it. I power it on, I plug it into a plug into the wall so it'll run all night and run it. And the only thing I have to do is make sure to check the weather forecast to make sure it's not gonna rain overnight. So I don't wake up in the morning to a, a shower and have to race down and hope it didn't get wet. If this gets wet, um, you're not necessarily in trouble, but you're not in good shape. Especially if it's somewhere to get inside of where the battery is, then you're over. Anyway, what I decided to do, what is something I've been thinking about for a long time and something that I just hadn't gotten around to, but I did, and that's use this. This is my Sony a7 III camera. This is like the older version now. It's a few. I got it in 2019, and this thing is a. This is rock solid. This thing is just like incredible. I love my Sony camera. It works great. So the big thing that I did with this is buy the adapter. So you'll see this wire here. This wire uh, just plugs into the wall, so that way it'll run all night or however long you need it to. So. Right now, when I'm filming this, it's the very first week of October, so the nights are starting to get longer. So I plug this in, and the picture is like this. The DJI came out really good, but with this, these are 24 megapixel images, all shot individually, 20 second exposure. Every 30 seconds, it takes a picture, and each picture is a 20 second exposure. I focused it in on a star, so everything is crystal clear, and it's a lot more work to download all those pictures because in this case, it's 1,301 pictures. I process them in Lightroom. I export them as JPEG. And in Premiere, there's an option that if you have a series of photos and you say it's a series, it'll string them together automatically and make you a time lapse, basically. So, the regular star lapses will continue, but when I have time and when I can put in the effort for it, the tar star lapses will be from this Sony because they're uh, like significantly different. I even did, because with this lens is an adjustable lens, so this is at 28 millimeters. I have a 35, and I think I might just pull this back to 17. This is a wide angle lens, so it goes to 17. But this is the first time I'm trying this out, and I'm and I just was I, I'm floored by how beautiful it looks. So this is 28 millimeters uh, focal length on my Sony a7 III, a series of 1,301 images strung together to make this 40 something second clip. So enjoy.